the adventure begins. A long, long time ago, there was a railway that is known as the Northwestern Railway. A little engine called Edward was shunning trucks. A Gorn was pulling a long, heavy goods train. A goods train! A goods train! A goods train! He said, the shame of it! The shame of it! The shame of it! I know Bond would be very irritated at Gorn for this. Gordon tells it, Edward that pulling goods trains are very bad. But Edward doesn't think so. Gordon also told Talk to Edward about an engine with wooden brake blocks. And James, he was in his black livery then, appeared and complained that his wooden brakes don't catch fire. Then Gore came to a big hill and stopped when he was nearly halfway. <coughs> Edward was called to help, help poor Gorn. Edward pushed me on behind and Gorn struggled. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it, he said. Edward reassured Gorn. I will do it. I will do it. I will do it. Gorn raced down the hill with leaving poor Edward behind. Well, the, uh, the following afternoon, Edward was shutting trucks when he heard an engine. Edward went to get a closer look, and he couldn't believe his eyes. The new engine has six small wheels, a short stumpy funnel, a short stumpy boiler, and a short stumpy dome. The, uh, the engine's name is Thomas. And Scorn tells Thomas that that he is so small and not very useful. But Edward and James introduced themselves to Thomas. Edward tried to help Thomas as best as he could with working in the yard with him. That night, the engines were getting ready for the night and a good night's sleep. Thomas tells Edward that he wanted to see the world. Then an engine came. His name is Henry. Edward told Thomas the sad story of Henry by starting with these lines. <clears throat> Once an engine attached to a train was afraid of a few drops of rain. He went into a tunnel and squeaked through his funnel and never came out again. When Edward finished the story, Thomas was shocked. But Edward told Tom was dead. So Tom had let Edward out, uh, uh, Henry out, at the Gorn burst his safety valve. The next morning, and Thomas went to the steamworks to get repainted. He was repainting his splendid blue with red stripes and his famous number one. Thomas went back to tell Edward that he's been repainted. When Gordon and James walked over, Gordon said that the last number one was a coffee pot. Edward tells Thomas about coffee pots. Their engines are, are like coffee pots. They don't work there anymore, but Edward said that there might be one on, still on the siding. Ed Edward went to go shunning while Thomas has went shunning on his own. Then he, and James rolled over. Meh, we can get dramatic Edwards. Thomas smells of a weird. Those might be James's wooden brake blocks. Then he came across two strange cars.
Yeah, Andy and Claire, bro. Now, Thomas met earlier. Told him that that train was the breakdown train. The breakdown train's names are Judy and Jerome. <coughs> that Thomas went back to the shed to rest. Then next morning, go and go and pull top and sit the express coaches. And boy, how how Thomas was was feeling after that. Tired. Next day, Thomas was back in the yard. He complains to. He spent his time pushing coaches around instead of going out to see the world. Did it? Then the next day, Henry wasn't feeling very well. So Thomas is reassured that he, he could take Henry's train. Thomas waited and waited. After he shunted the coaches, so Tom half was swearing. You'll have to find another engine, he said. The conductor said, There's only Thomas. Be quick now, says Tom and Dad. Well, Tom and Thomas went around and back toward the coaches. Then a, a guard's whistle came. Thomas thought that was his, and he puffed off. But really, the guard's whistle was Edward's. Thomas must have unaware that he left his coaches behind. Until us, when he stopped and a signalman told him that he left his coaches behind. That night, everybody laughed at Thomas, except for Edward. Thomas, Edward asked Thomas if he could take his freight train for him. Thomas was delighted. The next morning, eh, Thomas took Edward's freight cars and soon they were up the hill. Then the troubles and trucks pushed Thomas down the hill and into a siding and bumped into the buffers. The top of the hat was cross with Thomas, and he's also cross with Edward, and told them both to stay in the yard. Until Thomas could learn as much about trucks as Edward. Next, for the next few weeks, Tom has learned how, how to, to go with proper cars, and to shut them into place. One day, Thomas was get, really getting a hang of the trucks, except when he bumped into a course. Both he and Edward laughed. Then he, he heard an engine whistling. It was James! His one brake blocks were on fire and was streaming sparks. Thomas raced after James. He was determined to help his friend. Then, and when, after, when Thomas chased James, he told him that he's gonna couple up from behind. And when he, almost soon he he was coupled up fully, James t went around the bend and crashed into a field where some cows were grazing. Oh, poor James! I'll get help, Thomas told James, and so he went to fetch Judy and Joe. He fetched him and took him to the fear where her James was on his side. So Tom had told Thomas to take hey, James to the steamworks where he was when Thomas was painted blue. That night there was a celebration. And Thomas was rewarded 
You're getting his own branch line. Man, that was cool. A few days later, Thomas received his very own branch line. And James is just pulling into the station with his splendid red coat. Where he pr proudly wears to this day. Anyway, after Thomas left, and he was proudly on his branch line and taking passengers where they wanted to go. The end.